My name is John Paul Araranyo, and I'm here to discuss with you the history of Exxon Valdez oil spill. It's been 32 years to the day since human error allowed the Exxon Valdez to run aground in the pristine water of Prince William Sound in the Gulf of Alaska. Many people suffered, and even marine life is not even an exception. The Exxon Valdez incident is the greatest environment disaster for an entire generation. On March 24, 1989, the oil tanker Exxon Valdez ran aground in Prince William Sound in the Gulf of Alaska, spilling over 11 million gallons of oil that contaminated 1,300 miles along the coast of what was pristine wilderness. The Axon Valdez disaster was caused by the negligence of its captain, Joseph Hazel. He was cleared of felony charges. He was convicted of a demeanor of negligent discharge of oil, for which he performed community service. Hazelwood had been drinking during the day but did not appear intoxicated when he boarded the ship that night. He violated company policy by not being on the bridge during the transit of Valdez Narrow. Instead, it was steered by third mate Gregory Cousin. He had been working for 18 hours prior and could have been impaired by fatigue. As a result, he steered the ship off course to avoid ice. He did not correct in time to avoid grounding on the Bly Reef. Exxon spent over $4.3 billion to clean up the site, compensate the 11,000 residents, and pay fines. But it could have been $4.5 billion more. The Alaskan government ordered Exxon to pay $5 billion in punitive damage in 1994. After 14 years of lawsuits and appeals, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Exxon only owned $507.5 million. That was only about 12 hours of revenue for the giant oil company. The ecologically sensitive location, season of the year, and large scale of spill resulted in one largest environmental disaster in U.S. history. The specter of Exxon Valdez remained fresh in the minds of many Americans, old enough to remember the wall-to-wall -wall media coverage of crude smothered rocks, birds, and marine mammals. Eventually, massive cleanup efforts involving thousands of people were undertaken. The final death toll included 250,000 seabirds, almost 3,000 sea otters, 300 harbor seals, 250 bald eagles, 22 killer whales, and billions of salmon eggs. And population of Pacific herring, a cornerstone of the local fishing industry, collapsed, and the fishermen went bankrupt. The Oil Pollution Act of 1990, the landmark law resulting from the Exxon Valdez oil spill, legislated the phase out of all single hull tankers from the U.S. waters by 2015. On October 21, 2003, single hull tankers carrying Heavy oils were banned by the European Union. A complete ban on single hull tankers was to be faced in an accelerated schedule in 2005 and 2010. There remained pressure to eliminate single hull tankers from the oil trade worldwide. So their days are clearly numbered. Um, I guess the lesson here in this catastrophe was avoid negligence and know the importance of the crew's proper rest when operating the vessel. For it will be harmful for them, for the crew's ability to assess difficult situations. An oil spill is catastrophic for the marine environment and extremely difficult to be cleaned. Many animals, the sea, and even people felt the effect of the Exxon Valdez oil spill. What is more, because of the thickness of oil, its complete cleanup is almost impossible. As studies have shown, oil from the Exxon Valdez still affects some areas in Alaska. This highlights the importance of prevention measures in order to reduce similar accidents in the future. Uh, thank you guys again for watching my video and I hope this will bring a lesson to all of us and I hope you like my report and again 
I'm Jan Polara Rano from BSMT Senior 4 Alpha. See you next time.